morning. It is a beautiful one, no rain as yet, that's why I'm whispering. Hope you're all well. Today is Wayward Wednesday. The fiddle stays in bed and I bring out something else. And today we have Mandy, all in. And the tune of the day is called the Earl of Dunmore. There are two Dunmores in Scotland. One is near Stirling, one is near Tarbert, uh, Campbelltown. If you know anything about this tune, I'd love to hear. But we are actually sitting on either a Cranach or a Broch. Um, I think that's either names and it's we're so wayward that we're in the next village. We're in Bragger. Hello Bragger. And uh, if you know any history about this place, I'd also love to hear it. So, tune. The Earl of Dunmore. Enjoy the view and the birds are all singing. I don't know if you can hear the water lapping, but it's all rather nice. There we go, the Earl of Brunmore, tune of the day, and uh, oh, what a place! I could just sit here and play forever. It's really, really lovely, and not too windy. I don't know if you can hear wind there, but um, just by the way, I'd like to clear up a matter on my accident-prone childhood. I don't do those anymore. My my accident-prone, my self-preservation button got switched on at one point and um, it has remained ever since. So if I have an accident these days, it's not from being reckless or stupid. It's truly justifiable. Do we have that clear? And I, I was thinking, <laughs> I was just remembering as tales go about the time that I broke my leg. I had to go to the hospital. The nurse was quite matronly and she was very stern with me. And she said, now, when you come back in three weeks, make sure and bring back your sticky shoe. <clears throat> you know, the blue foam shoes that you Velcroed on. and. Um, we didn't know each other very well, the nurse and I, so she obviously made it clear enough that I didn't forget and I forget most things. But those three weeks in my stooky, with my stooky shoe, were spent clambering around the sheds, the animals, into the pine forests. By the time I went back in three weeks, the stooky at the bottom had completely crumbled. It was just crumbly plaster and the stooky shoe was covered in every kind of animal dung and also pine needles so much so to the point that it was actually disintegrated and it was in bits but I dutifully put it in a polythene bag and I took it to that nurse um, so I had to come in and she took off the stooky and she, I looked at my leg in horror and I was like oh, it's so wasted away you know there's nothing left of it and I just remember under her breath she was kind of well I've seen worse so obviously not quite wasted as much as it should be and then as I was leaving I remembered I had to give her the stooky shoe and so I handed her this plastic bag and um, she kind of took it gingerly and she opened it up and she looked in and she looked at me in kind of disbelief and she went to the bin and she put it in the bin and it's like, you know, in my mind, I'm going, why would you ask me to bring back the sticky shoe and then just put it in the bin? I could have done that. But in hindsight, it took me a while when I realised that the sticky shoes were kind of precious and needed to be reused. And um, there was no way that was going to get reused. So, they even got a, a tail this morning as well. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye!